Kuala Lu, written by Mim Fox, illustrated by Pamela Lofts. There was once a baby koala so soft and round that all who saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lu. The emu loved her, the platypus loved her, and even tough little koala claws next door loved her. But it was her mother who loved her most of all. A hundred times a day, she would laugh and shake her head and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. Whenever she stretched in the early morning sun or climbed a gum tree or bravely went down the path all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. The years passed and other koalas were born, brothers and sisters for Koala Lu. Soon her mother was so busy she didn't have time to tell Koala Lu that she loved her. Although, of course, she did. Every night she curled up under the stars. Koala Lu thought about the times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lu, I do love you. And she longed for her to say it again. One night, Koala Lu had a splendid idea. Preparations had begun for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Olympics. She would compete in the gum tree climbing event and she would win. And her mother would fling her arms around her neck and say again, Koala Lu, I do love you. Koala Lu began her training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights and panted. She hung from a branch with one claw at a time till she ached. She did push-ups till her stomach hurt. And last of all, she climbed the tallest tree that she could find over and over and over again. Sometimes her mother would watch her and ask, How you going, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lu would reply. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics arrived. Koala Claus had also entered the gum tree climbing event, and everyone knew how fast she was. But Koala Lu wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying again, Koala Lu, I do love you, and her heart filled with hope. It was Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record-breaking 22 meters and 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered and wildly waved their party hats. Can I do better than that? wondered Koala Lu. I must. As she stepped toward the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark said the kookaburra, get set, go. Koala Lu leapt onto the tree, up and up and up she climbed, higher and higher and higher, faster and faster and faster until there she was, right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. but she wasn't fast enough. In spite of all her training and all her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the gum tree climbing. 
and Koala Lou came in second. Koala Lou went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and cried her heart out. When the first stars of evening appear in the sky appeared in the sky, Koala Lou crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her. Before she could say a word, her mother had flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. I always have and I always will. And she hugged her for a very long time. Koala Lou.